recent days. But I thought as we've been doing the last couple of weeks, uh, we'd start by celebrating the sacrament of confession. So let's just bring before, before the Lord anything we've done that's wrong. And we ask for the Lord's healing and forgiveness.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Amen. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns, and then buys the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of great value, he goes and sells everything he owns and buys it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus.
dear sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of Jesus. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, these simple gifts of bread and wine, which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may bless our present way of life and lead us one day to your eternal kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ's arm. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your beloved Son, Jesus. For fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. The Lord Jesus stretched out his hands between heaven and earth as he suffered on the cross to break the bonds of death and to make the resurrection a reality. Now, with all the angels and the saints and with all our loved ones in heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy, holy, holy.
Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into the Lamb. But I say the Lord, and my soul shall be. Eternally 